Hi everyone, welcome to Turbo Pug. Welcome. I hit our options. Back. I want to say Turbo Pug is a one button game. Oh, we are the cutest. I love Aww. us! He's adorable. He's a Turbo Pug. He's just an infinite runner. How come some of them are 50 and some of them are 100? <gasps> oh no! Pug I'm sorry, voice. Pug. You died. You died so that we may live okay. while watching a dog jump over things. This was like 50 cents on a Steam sale this uh, summer. 50 cents well spent. Even if I keep killing him by accident. For those of you who want to play this game, I love the moon, that's beautiful. Bucks for 50 cents. <gasps> On, oh no. On a, some sort of bundle. Uh, no, it was it's just Steam Sale. Steam Sale. I think it's a dollar normally. It was half off. Okay, so if you want to This, you can I would Steam. spend a dollar on this. You can go to Steam, pay a dollar. You ran into the wall and died. Game. No. Alternatively, you can play what this game is reminding me of with that T Rex jumping over cactus and dodging birds. <laughs> I think Mikella's tired enough she's just rambling incoherently. What? I think she's talking about the Chrome thing, you know uh, yeah. when Are you talking about when your when your Chrome browser crashes? Yeah. That, that, they are both infinite runners, that's correct. It's different every time you play. Same here. Yeah. They're both procedurally generated infinite running games. Michaela got uh, Angel and Stitch from Disneyland. Yeah! Mm. So, she's excited. I did not realize that they started making Angel merchandise. And Angel you is have, the... You cannot have Stitch without his bushy boo. But, but who is Angel? Angel is Experiment 624. And... That is... Is she? Yes. Oh yeah, 625 is Ruben. I thought she was six. I thought Ruben was six two four. That's not right. No. And she's this. Um, she is a pink. Basically, if you took Stitch, gave him longer antennae, um, put a heart on his chest, made him pink, turned him into a girl. You have Angel. And Angel's power is that she can sing to all of her previous experiment cousins and make them go evil again. That's rude. The only two who are immune to her powers is all of the experiments after her number. So she's 624. Okay. Means Ruben, 625, and Stitch, 626, are immune to her powers. But, okay, but if her power is making people evil, what was her one true place? I forgot. That's a good question. Because, like, wasn't that the deal in the show that Lilo had to find all the experiments' new homes? Yes. And I forgot what her name <gasps> was. Poor Super Pug, he keeps dying. Now I have to look this up. Research. Super Pug, no! Super Pug to the rescue! Look at how much he's panting, he can't breathe. I love that he's wearing a- oh, shit. Oh, I added the cape in the character select when you weren't looking. Okay. I did have one true home, and sadly it wasn't with Stitch, because Stitch and Ruben both kind of Black fell Pug. in love with her, and Angel fell in love with Stitch. Which oh. is the way of things. I guess so. They kept calling each other Bushy Boo. I guess in the Stitch language. Language means my love or something. Aww, that's cute. It is, neon. It's Neon Pug. It's Neon Pug. Or it's just a pug who ate way too many crayons. <laughs> crayons and Vaseline Pug. Uh. Uh. Oh god, help. Stop ah! it! No! You were doing really good. Was. 
Thank you for acknowledging that. You're welcome. <laughs> Just like, oh god, this bug. No! Poor puppy. I think Angel had to go back to Dr. Humster view. Uh-huh. To, I guess, sort of try and stop him or something. Makes no sense. For real, you're just giving her back to... The guy who wants to control her. No, she went really No, I get that, but if her only power is just making people evil. Like, why would you send her to a villain? To make him turn good, Is that how it works? I don't think that's how any of this works. I don't know! I feel know. like it's I the opposite of the how episode. it works. All I remember was <laughs> <laughs> Well, some Stitch fan you are. That's not true. You're fine. She is a great Stitch fan. Yes. You're great. Thank you. You're welcome. So, Mikaela, I have a question. What's your opinion on the Japanese Lilo and Stitch? I have not seen it. They have a Japanese I have, version? I have heard stories about it, and I am not okay with it. So, uh, Lilo becomes a cop. Oh! Her one true place is with Lilo and Stitch's Ohana as a pop star and a singer. Huh? And a singer. She had to go... Did you just get electrocuted? Ah, I think so. Was it good or bad? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure either way. Can we be the way? That one shark puppy? Can we be an astro kitty? Yes. Oh that my goodness. Fun. As the pug one. He, he jumps slowly because he's in space. Blessings upon him. Oh, and he meowed. Did you hear him? Santa pug. So how do you determine if you get a pug? I think you have to earn enough points. You have to tap enough pugs. Yep. Okay. This game is like weird for fifty cents. And it, ah, I also I keep forgetting to blink. It hurts. Okay. Can't fly. Slight flight. How do I get these guys? More points? Maybe. Let's go back to Cape Pug. Because of that double jump is super useful. Yeah. So wait, her, her best place was as a pop star. Yeah, and I think she had to leave to go well make her albums and stuff. That makes no sense. Do you really expect... I forgot how the episode ended. All I know is that she didn't end up with Stitch because otherwise she would have been in other future episodes. And they, she was not. Did you expect a Disney Channel original series about a little girl and her gay alien uncles and her tiny alien puppy koala thing to oh, make any sense? Um, but no, the Japanese Lilo and Stitch, apparently Lilo becomes a cop after going to college. I think we've talked about and this. And somehow Stitch ends up in Okinawa. Is and, that where Lilo is? No, he meets a new girl and hangs out with her, and I guess he just lives there now? Did he decide and, he went, He didn't want to hang out while she went to college? Like, that's like, rude. Stitch, that's rude. Why? Okay, there were more episodes about Angel than I did not, than I did not get a chance to watch. Okay. And apparently, she, Lilo, and Stitch team up to help save experiments. Okay. I still don't... With her evil singing powers. Yeah. No! Okay. She has the ability of rebooting um, experiments back and forth between being good and bad. Oh, okay. okay that's slightly so better. So when she's... she was working for the bad guys, she was trying to turn all of the rehabilitated experiments back to the back, bad side. That's new, though. And... Right. When she decided to switch sides, because she didn't want to be evil anymore, she um, started using her singing tongues. Uh, try being a little louder, because I'm not 100% sure you're getting on the capture. Okay, how's this? <laughs> I have no idea, because I can't see the capture, but we do have a noise filter on. So, I don't know when you're getting captured or not. And also, the game is in front of the... Yeah, the game's in front of the mic readout. That's probably... Mikaela, would you like... Okay, how's this? Uh, I'm uncomfortable. That's the worst. 
Here, you sit in the chair, Michaela. I sit in the chair. You Whoa! Sit in the chair. Hold on. I'm falling over myself. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. I've, I've arrived. Oh, these are pretty. I know! Yeah. I got those for him from Hawaii. The Waikiki in Hawaii, uh, you are here mugs. I love the Starbucks you are here mugs. They are so pretty, and they are from places I have been, or have not been, but people buy me things from there. Whatever the case may be. More often or not, the second one. Okay, Angel. Yeah. Angel and Stitch. Yes. Hello, Stitch. Angel is Stitch's Bushy Boo. Bushy Boo. By technicality, isn't she also his sister? That's gross. We don't talk about that. Shh. Angel is Stitch's Bushy Boo. Now, the story of Angel, because I only got to see one episode with Angel in it. It was the very first one where she was evil and tried to turn all the other experiments that were rehabilitated evil and fell in love with Stitch. <laughs> By the end of the episode, she was like, Oh no, I don't want to leave! And Gantu being the, the stupid head that he is, uh, head. kidnapped her. And that was the last I got a chance to see of Angel, and I was very sad because I was like, MORE EPISODES WITH ANGEL! MORE EPISODES WITH ANGEL! And I never got to see it because I did not have, like, things like Netflix at the time. I hey, check the, the character select. See, how, see if you've unlocked anyone. I will next time we die. Okay. Uh, I do wonder, are any of those, uh, that era of Disney cartoons, or the one before it, the Disney Morning? Because I want to say you had Disney Morning, which was, like... Characters. Nope. What is that in the middle? This one? Yeah, Space the gray one. Space Cat. What? Space Cat. That was Space Normal Cat. cat. Space, normal Cat's fast. Oh <laughs> shit, Normal Cat is fast. Yeah, wow. He is a kitty cat. Of course he's fast. Um... But yeah, apparently... Uh, um, real quick, back to Angel. Just for two more seconds. Okay. Um, apparently, she gets saved by some form or another. Either she frees herself because she's an independent woman, or... We don't need no man. <laughs> we don't need no man, but want Stitch. Um, or Lilo and Stitch help her and save her. And she works with Lilo and Stitch using her singing powers to help... Uh, transform all of the... What? Look at Space Cat leap through space. <laughs> to help all of the experiments um, find their one true home, etc. The end. Alright. Um, that was beautiful. I, what I was saying earlier was, I wonder if I wonder how fast I can die in this game. Oh, it's that fast. <laughs> um, I wonder if... Step one. Disney die. games from that era... Not games. Show. Shows. Shows from that era are available to stream anywhere. Like, can we stream the Lilo Ooh. and Stitch cartoon and watch all of the episodes of one of the most peculiar things they ever made? Um... That is a very good question. I don't know. Right? Like, I know on Disney.com you can watch all of Gargoyles. Really? Which is, like, the best Disney show. It is the best Disney show. Second only to Lilo and Stitch. I was about to say, better than Lilo and Stitch. No. No? I think, I think Lilo <laughs> and Stitch is better. I, I think you might be a little biased. A little bit. Yes. All right. But no, Gargoyles is a very good show. I loved Gargoyles. Well, because, like, all the other Disney shows were competing for, like, oh, we want to make something wholesome. I think Gargoyles kind of hit a nice sweet spot where it was like, we aren't trying for something wholesome. We're trying to compete with Batman. <laughs> it did have that dark, edgy Batman-y feel. It did. Uh, da, da, to the da, point da, of da, da, that I'm... There are some people who go the opposite route with Gargoyles that they do with Don Bluth films. There are some people who are 100% convinced that Gargoyles and Batman are part of the same universe. And both made by DC. I could buy that. Yeah, I could like, see it. Yeah, just like there are people who are convinced Anastasia is a Disney princess. They are wrong. 
Or, uh, she is not. Who's the other one? Odette? Odette. I love Swan. Let's see. Um, Swan Princess. Those that are not like Disney princesses, but should probably be considered Disney princesses because they're at that same level of art work, I'd yeah, say. Yeah, that, 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 that's that argument, but they can't be Disney princesses because they're not Disney. Yeah, they are. As Disney opposed prom. to Disney princesses who aren't Disney princesses because reasons? Disney said so. Right, which those ones I think are bullshit. Princess Alanwi, we know you, we see you, uh, we love Kida? you. Who? Princess Alanwi. Black Cauldron. From Black Cauldron. I don't think I've ever seen that. <gasps> uh, fix no, this. no, honestly, I've never seen the Black Cauldron. I've seen the cover of the Black Cauldron. I have a feeling. I think I've seen like gifts of it. I have a feeling that the both of you will hate Gurgi to death. Well, here's the thing. I know I will love The Black Cauldron, because The Black Cauldron, to my understanding, is less a princess film as it is a uh, Disney D&D campaign. Uh, yeah, kind of, actually. Considering The Black Cauldron myth is referenced a lot in a lot of the early D&D modules. So what is The Black Cauldron myth? Uh, if I remember correctly, it's that there's this witch's cauldron, and there's multiple versions, one of which is anyone who eats over the over the cauldron, a meal that was cooked in it, will be have a bond stronger than being brothers for the rest of their lives. Aww. Uh, for some reason this gets replaced with, if you stick bones in the Black Cauldron, an army of skeletons will rise up? Yeah, that's the version that Black Cauldron movie um, goes off of. Which there is a... T there sounds is a to me like there were a bunch of Catholic priests who were like, hey, we can't have people eating over this cauldron anymore, what do we do? Tell there, them it summons skeletons. There is a book oh, that the movie Catholic was reason. based on. Uh huh. So if you are one of those types of people that is like, no, I must watch the, I must read the book before oh, I uh, watch the movie. You were doing so well. Look, best run 2741, last run 2407. Oh, damn. What are our leaderboards? Holy shit. Sorry for the. Banana Princess, how can you? Polar Badger. True Ian Sauce. Some of these scores have a, have six digits. And some of them have pugs next to them. Oh, wait. Oh, they have the pug they played it with. Oh, okay. And who is Braxton? Who's that? I don't know. We are at our end for Super for Turbo Pug. We might come back for Mega Neo Ultra Ultra Pug, which is the sequel which I also bought. What? To, tune in next time for when we talk about Ruben. Or whatever, because <laughs> we're late. Nice. Uh, if if you want to watch more of us, check the eye or check the end card. If you want to watch us every day, hit that subscribe button. If you want to see me get delirious, tell me to record more often at midnight. Cause my God, I'm tired. <laughs> I get loopy when I'm tired, and apparently I become very funny. How do you not get loopy? By watching more of our videos till 3 a.m. It is I scientifically proven <laughs> by <laughs> some guy. I <laughs> some guy who claimed to so. be a scientist. Like, Yvonne's not phased. I am, because my days normally start at 5.30. Mine sure does not. That hour does not exist for me. Uh, Alright, bye, bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.